What's going on everyone? Um, today I'm going to show you how to spoof your location uh, using Xcode and an iPhone. Um, this is for like sneakers, drops that you know are uh, geolocation based and you need to have your location there or this is for like foot locker check-ins or East Bay check you know your foot sites basically um, for you to do your check-ins if you need to. Um, again you do need to have a Mac and you do need to have an iPhone. Um, other tutorials for Android and all that stuff will come later but this is uh, strictly for Xcode and for iPhone. Um, go ahead and download Xcode from the App Store. Uh, it's completely free, you don't need anything. It's tied to your Apple ID which is um, a big part of setting this up so once it's done downloading go ahead and click open. And once Xcode opens you're gonna see this screen right here. What you're gonna wanna do is create a new Xcode project Right here, you're going to leave it at a uh, single view app on iOS. Don't touch anything. Just go ahead and click next. All right here's the, the main part. Um, right here, you need to be signed into your Apple ID. So if this is your first time opening Xcode, it's probably going to um, need you to sign in. Go ahead and do that. Uh, make sure your phone's plugged into the computer. Obviously, you need it connected. Um, but sign into your Apple ID. Make sure that you have the team selected. This is my test one, obviously, so it's Bob Ross. Um, for product name, this is just going to be the name of the folder of the project on your desktop or whatever. Um, since we're spoofing, I'm just going to do spoofs as the project name. Uh, organization name, this is just basically a company name or it's a, any kind of bullshit name that you want. I'm going to leave it a test because it's unnecessary to change it from anything else for this. But um, you can see down here under your bundle identifier, you need to do com.yourcompany.spoofs. That's the name of the product. Um, com your company is going to be the organization name, so we're just going to do com test spoofs. Um, you are going to see it doubled up right here, down here. Don't worry about it. That's fine. Um, so you can see the format that this is supposed to be. This is the most important part. Um, besides that, don't worry about anything else. Don't change this. Leave this. Don't uncheck. Leave all that. Just go ahead and click next. And then what's going to happen next is it's going to want you to save it somewhere. Go ahead and click desktop. Um, source control, you don't need to do a git repository. So uncheck that. Go ahead and click create. Okay, so um, what it's going to do is it's going to create the project for you. This is Xcode. This is what you're looking for. This is what you want to see. Um, the important part right here is this signing right here. You want to make sure that the team is logged in, that there's something signed in to this particular part. If not, then when we go to build the actual um, thing on the phone, then it's going to give you an error. So you need to have your phone plugged in. You need to be signed in to the Apple ID that's been authorized on the phone and is authorized in Xcode. So they have to link together. Um, Apple knows if they're not linked, therefore you can't test on that particular device. So make sure you take care of that. Um, after that's done, um, really the only other step we got to do before we spoof the location is to add whatever location it is that we want to spoof to. So for this case in um, the video, all I did was Staples Center in Los Angeles. So you know, say that you know shoes were dropping at Staples Center. Well, you grab the latitude and longitude of Staples Center. So I'll grab the latitude first. And then over in Xcode, what you're going to want to do is go to File, and then go to New File. Um, from the filter right here, just go ahead and do GPX. It's going to show you the GPX file. Go ahead and click the GPX file. Click Next. Uh, right here is the location. I like to organize it um, by you know what I'm doing. If I do Foot Locker, you know. LA or Foot Locker, Chicago or whatever. Uh, in this case I'm going to do Staples because it's a Staples Center. Um, you don't have to change any of this. This is already defaulted so go ahead and leave that. It's going to add it into the project over here. You can see uh, where it's going. Just go ahead and click re uh, Create. Once you do that you can see that we are in the actual GPX file now automatically. Um, no need to do anything um, with that besides change the latitude and longitude. I also like to change the name here because it's not Cupertino. So we'll do Staples. Um, so go ahead and copy and paste that latitude that we 
grabbed a second ago and then head back over grab the longitude make sure there is a minus in there because it will cause issues if it needs a minus um, change this right here all right so that's good um, don't need to change anything else nothing needs to be uh, messed with go ahead and save the file once that's saved you can go ahead and click back on the project right here spoofs once we're at the main page make sure that your iPhone is selected in here I'm gonna go ahead and just do an XR um, because it's on the simulator over here it's already pulled up so I'm gonna build it on there you'll see that it's building the tasks up here you shouldn't have any issues it should go right through build succeeded you're gonna see a white screen pop up on your phone go ahead and just swipe up out of that and then if you um, go into the project we may need to do it again because it doesn't look like it has the location down here it does not so let's go ahead and play it again it's gonna ask you to stop and restart it okay there we go alright so this is what you're looking for down here this little location arrow that you usually see on like GPS's and stuff that's what we're wanting to see let me go ahead and get out of this. All right. All right. So go ahead and click the arrow down here. You can see that all these locations are saved automatically, but the one that we're looking for is the one that we created. Obviously, Staples for Staples Center. Once you select it, the arrow should turn blue. That means that you are um, simulating that location you just selected. So if you go to your phone and you go to your maps, um, GPS on your phone then once you allow it to locate you you should be at Staples Center so this is how you spoof this is how you get the shoes this is how you you know check in the foot sites whatever it is whatever you need to do whatever if you ever need to fake your GPS um, this is how you use Xcode this is how you use an iPhone to do so uh, hopefully this has been pretty easy and pretty straightforward for you guys. I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. If not, uh, happy spoofing and hope you're able to cop what you are going after. Take care.